Good morning. We are back in Miami after two years, and today we are going back to skate the absolutely magnificent Lot 11 Skate Park. Now, I've been here before in the past, but they've added some things since I've been here. However, it is Saturday morning, and I did not beat the crowds. Hopefully, I can beat the weather. Got some ideas of what to do today, but let's get warmed up and see what kind of day it's going to be. Well, clearly we did not beat the rain. So now we're gonna do something completely different and uh, we're gonna say goodbye. But first, congratulations to Dead Wheels for making awesome products for 10 years now. Uh, I am not sponsored by them in any way. I don't know if they know I exist. I just love their wheels and stoked to see this 10 year anniversary re-releasing all their most popular wheels. This Too Easy wheel is my favorite one uh, they've ever produced. So glad to get my hands on another set. Uh, go pick yours up if you haven't yet. I've had nothing but good experiences with their wheels. Your mileage may vary, but highly recommend Dead Wheels. But now let's talk about these. The FR, UFR, Anthony Pottier, Fru Frap. It's, honestly, the name is just way too long. Uh, the UFRs. I picked these up in September for, I believe it was $290 at the time with the FR Intuition liner in it. The base model goes for, I think, 190, 200 bucks. So at that point, you are getting an Intuition liner for $100, which is an absolute steal. Uh, a big reason I bought the skate was that because I love my Intuition liners. This set is going on three years now, and I still skate them every single day. And also just wanted to try something different, and this skate is very, very different. Looks wise alone, it doesn't look like any other aggressive skate. It looks like a recreational skate and that's because it is. And I have them. That's how I was introduced to this skate and I love this model. It's so supportive, very responsive, and it got the same exact thing out of these skates. Super responsive, uh, an unbelievable amount of support. Honestly, too much support if you uh, really tie everything up tight. But I gave these things a try. Um, I bought them boot only like this. There is the option to get them with the AP flat frame. Um, I wasn't so interested in that because I have metal frames and I already don't use those. I don't need more metal frames laying around. But I set mine up with my old intuitions that were nice and broken in. Some Kaiser Fluid 5s. They're actually pull-offs of a Mesmer skate and the Bloom Keaton Newsom uh, 60 millimeter wheels. And these have been great, but like any skate, they come with their drawbacks. So what's great about these skates? Well, the thing that's always important to me, they slide super fast. These sole plates are like top three, if not top two, fastest sliding plastic that I've used. No problem, especially when they're brand new and they're not caked up with people's old wax and dust and dirt and stuff from skate parks, but super fast sliding sole plates, which is awesome. The groove stock is great. And then once you get it broken in with your own groove like I have here, perfect. No issues locking on to groove tricks. The negative, I know some of you guys think there could probably be a little more negative real estate there. I think it's plenty because I don't do many negative tricks and I don't want to catch my feet on each other when I'm skating. So it's good enough for me. Another great feature that I actually normally don't like in a skate, but the 45 degree strap on this skate, uh, it actually pulls the look together quite well. And then it's super easy with this giant open shell. Getting in and out of these skates is so easy. The, but once you're in, the 45 degree strap really locks your ankle in place. And then if you want to get out, you pop it open and literally just like lean forward. The whole top of the boot opens up, slide your foot right in and out. You know, it's kind of minutia, but it's a really nice thing that you can have your skates off in like five seconds. Uh, another unique and awesome feature that FR does, built-in foam insole. It does not come out on the bottom of the boot. I just think that's brilliant. Like none of your hardware is gonna come out of the boot if you loosen it up and turn it over. It's all in place. Uh, it dampens all of the chatter coming from your wheels up through the skate. It's such a nice feature. I was able to run my Intuition liners without the heel pad because it's already a raised heel boot. I think more companies should look into doing something like that. They've also got padding 
over the inside of the cuff bolts. Oh, and I didn't even realize, but there's one on the inside of the hardware for this uh, little boot protector piece as well. So all of your hardware is gonna stay in place and it's not gonna wear out your liners on the inside of the boot. It's just really well thought out. And yeah, it skates fantastic. 10 out of 10 responsiveness, but that does come at the downside of uh, sometimes having a little too much support from the cuff. And one of the things that's not good or bad, but just interesting, and of course I bought it boot only, so I brought it home to try to put it together and forgot which way the hardware was when I pulled it out. But all raised heel boots come with two different sized hardware, but there's one long and one short. And very strange skate because on this one, the long one goes in the front and the short one goes in the back, which is the opposite of every raised heel skate I've ever used. So if you buy these and you're putting them together and you wonder why the bolt won't go all the way into the heel, it's because the long one goes in the front on this skate. And I know people have said that this sole plate, with the design of this skate, you're raised really high off the sole plate. I don't think that's actually true. I think it's kind of an illusion because it looks like such a beefy sole plate, but you are pretty well countersunk into this thing, the way this boot drops in and it locks the sole plate in place really well. Uh, it could maybe use a couple of mounting screws to really firm everything up and you don't get that separation of boot and sole plate. But honestly, I never really noticed much slop because the boot's so responsive anyways. And again, I don't find myself feeling, you know, miles away from the sole plate when I'm standing in these things. It feels the same as any other raised heel boot. And with the Intuition liners, it is a little bit different. Uh, it's a slightly thicker and more plush intuition liner it's still super high quality but um, i've only ever tried the v2 intuitions and these and these were a little bit softer still very supportive but bit of a softer and uh, thicker foam versus really thin and dense foam so just a different liner um, still for an extra 90 dollars these are usually 200 bucks so it is a steal it's uh, it's worth buying these skates just to get a liner out of them honestly oh i forgot to mention these things are unbelievably light unbelievably light lighter than aeons i think i haven't put them on a scale i'm not, not measuring grams but if you're a weight weenie this is a good skate for you that is the good the interesting let's get into the ugly first of all there's no way around it, they're ugly. Definitely still looks more like a recreational skate than an aggressive skate. And it's dumb, but it matters. When I first saw these in pictures, I thought I would never buy these until I did see them in person. And then, you know, they look a lot more normal, but they're not winning any beauty pageant contests with these things. And the other big con, I've mentioned it a couple times already, is the amount of support. The cuffs laterally are so stiff. This is a, this skate, I skate basically like a 90s sweatpants skater, like tie the bottom up tight to my foot and leave the top super floppy. And that's the only way I'm able to get my groove tricks and top side tricks in, which isn't a terrible thing. If it had a little bit of a softer cuff, these skates would be a whole lot better. I know you can go swap cuffs. Uh, the new Aeon cuff apparently, fits on these perfectly, but I'm not really big into Franken boots. So yeah, if you are someone who likes something that folds over pretty easily to get your top sides and groove tricks, probably not gonna be a great choice for you just cause there's so much support. But if you like a very responsive skate, this thing is unmatched. Power transfer is instant and it skates like a rec skate because that's where it started life. The only other thing I ran into with this skate um, when I first started riding it, I had a bit of a pressure point and it was from that pad that is behind this hardware. Um, once I skated them for like a few hours, that went away. I got used to that feeling being there and it didn't feel so much like a pressure point. These also, I believe they fit narrow, but they're also narrow in the heel. I have a good friend that tried to skate these and they were just squeezing his heel way too much. So if you have wider feet, probably not gonna be a good skate for you. If you have narrow feet, but tall, like high feet or a high arch, probably great for you because this nice open top of the shell, but not for the uh, Sasquatch footed people out there. Overall though, I've had a really good experience, been riding them for nine, 10 months now, but it's just time to say goodbye. Um, time to change it up, move on to something else. 
But I mean, if you're interested in these, they're an incredible value. Uh, you can pick up the old ones. I think they're down to like 250 some places now for the boot with the Intuition liner, 170 for the FR liner. Uh, the new ones, it's $300 for the boot with an Intuition liner. I mean, you really can't beat it. It's a very affordable skate. Um, I saw FR's booth at Blading Cup. I think the sole plates are $27, which is so cheap. So if you're on a budget, this is a very budget friendly skate. You get high quality parts at a very fair price. They're amazingly responsive. They slide super fast. It's just, they might have a little bit too much support. I've heard the white cuffs are a little bit more flexy and hopefully I do think they are listening, listening to feedback out there and changing things as they go along. But again, I've got something coming here in a couple days and uh, I'm ready to move on to something different. So that is gonna do it for this week. If you have any other questions about the UFR, the FR, UFR, AP, yeah, they need to change that name. Leave them down in the comments. Happy to answer any questions you have. Um, but yeah, goodbye, old friend. It's been fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.